Hey everybody, Clay Archer, CEO of DPC Technology. As you may have seen over the last few months, we've been doing a bunch of Unify Protect videos. Um, I'll put a link to those down below. But one of the things we keep seeing over and over again in both the Facebook and Reddit forums is a lot of hate for the Unify Protect system and a lot of love for Hikvision. So we decided to put Hikvision to the test. We took everybody's advice and got a bunch of 4K Hikvision cameras. We got a Hikvision NVR and we got a Synology NAS. And over the coming weeks, we're gonna do a bunch of comparisons of the different Hikvision products versus the Protect products. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and do an unboxing of the different Hikvision products. We'll get them unboxed, I'll describe to you what they are, and we'll get them fired up and we'll start the comparisons. All right, so we started off with the Hikvision uh, DS7600 series in VR. Uh, we chose this one because we wanted to run a bunch of the 4K cameras and not have any issues with um, it not having enough processor to run it. Okay, so it's pretty much just a black box with a bunch of connect connectivity. Um, then we've got some accessories. We've got a power plug. Cat5 cable, a mouse, interesting. And we have a, a SATA cable, yeah, I believe a SATA cable, and a few mounting screws. We've got an installation CD, always awesome in 2021, and a manual I'm sure we'll never read. Okay, so on the back of the device, we've got a power supply with a regular power in. We've got a, a LAN and a USB jack. We've got HDMI, VGA, audio out, and we've got eight RJ45 connectors to connect via PoE. And on the front, we have a basic black box with a USB input. Basically, it looks like an old school cable box. So first off, we have a Hikvision dome camera. In here, we've got a template, another DVD, because you always want those. A mini DVD. The mini DVD, of course. Uh, we've got the uh, manual. In here, we have a tool to get into the camera. Uh, it's kind of like an Allen key. We also have a, clean, a cleaning cloth. Uh, we found out in the Unify Protect dome cameras, the uh, three and the four, how important cleaning the dome is. We've got some accessories. We've got some mounting screws. And we have the dome camera itself. It's got a little bit of weight to it, not, not too much. It's nicely packaged. A little different system here than the Unify system where the cable itself is already affixed to the uh, dome and it comes out with a little pigtail that's got that 6RJ45 connector and it's got a power connector. And then the camera itself with a bunch of IR emitters and a dome there protecting it. So this is the DS-2CD2142FWD-I. Somebody in China definitely named that. Um, it is a WDR fixed ND network IP dome 2.8 millimeter lens, and it is a four megapixel. That's camera number one. All right, so here we have camera number two. This is the DS2CD2085G1-I, 28 millimeter. It's eight megapixel um, 4K camera, and it is the AXIR Ixer fixed mini bullet. All right. Again, a user manual, a drill template, no DVD in this one. Hmm. Um, some weatherproofing, mounting screws, the same uh, tool for getting into the dome itself or into the bullet itself. No, um, no cleansing cloth in here, I guess. Hickvision realized that only domes need to be cleaned. And so take a quick look in here. Humidity pellets. Um, very simple design, uh, not the most beautiful design I've ever seen, uh, but we'll fire it up and see what we get out of it. IR emitters are around the camera lens, not very visible in here, so I'm interested to see how that's going to look. But anyways, that is the EXIR fixed mini bullet. Let's see how that works. On to the next one. And all right, for the last one, we have the Q001U. QYC53, I think that's it, uh, the model, and it's called the Ultra HD 4K, eight megapixel outdoor security camera, 30 millimeter night vision, made in China. All right, of course we got the DVD, which is awesome, mini DVD. Uh, we got the instructions again, another template, which is good. And 
Let's see what we got here. Yeah, I don't know why this one came in a uh, brown box, uh, un, an unmarked box, but who knows? Uh, again, some more of the weather stripping, uh, weatherproofing uh, stuff and some anti-humidity beads. Uh, it's interesting looking camera, much different than anything I've seen from Ubiquity. Uh, it definitely is not a looker, but that's probably not what we're after anyways. Interesting the way they've separated the IR emitter and the camera. This one that feels a little bit, eh, they all feel really well built. Um, this is definitely made out of metal. Definitely feels very substantial. Um, not super heavy, but definitely made well. Um, be interested to see how this one goes. So these are the three contenders. Um, over the next couple days, we're gonna put these up here on our rig, both inside and outside, and test them with the Hikvision NVR. Then we're gonna go ahead and test it with the Synology, and then we're gonna compare it to the Unify Protect uh, G4 camera system. We'll do a little price comparison at the end so you can see exactly what it costs to do a system with the Hikvision NVR, then the Synology NAS, and compare it to the Unify Protect system. At this point, we're gonna fire it up on the rig, get it going, and we'll start creating those videos. So if you wanna see the rest of the series, please like and subscribe. As always, we thank you for watching. If you have any comments, put them down below, and we'll see you in the next one.